Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, it is about that time of year. It's time to start thinking about Team of the Year in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team because literally one year ago on this day, we had the first bit of Team of the Year information inside of FIFA 21. And there are some people saying that the information for Team of the Year inside of FIFA 22 is coming very soon. Specifically, the voting is going to be opening up soon. So I want to talk about that potential, what's going on with this market at the moment, because preview packs have made their return, a triumphant return for preview packs. It didn't really mess the market up a lot yesterday. I think I was so surprised, though, to see preview packs re-released. I think there could be some more. We'll talk about that in this video too. And as Headliners Team 1 move towards the end of their stay in packs, could we be investing in some of these for some profit down the line? A lot of times these cards, specifically live items, rise out of packs. But there's a lot of uncertainty in this market at the moment with Team of the Year announcement, with still a lot of packs to be given back for the mistake that EA made that we've talked about like this whole entire week. So we're going to cover all of that into or in today's video. So if you're enjoying the videos, of course, as always, slap a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you're new. But let's talk about Team of the Year because it's January, right? January always brings some of the Team of the Year vibes. But specifically with what we are hearing, some of the rumors right now, and just looking back to one year ago and how Team of the Year started last year, this is the tweet that EA put out last year on January 6th. It was a Wednesday. They said, it's almost time, Team of the Year, hashtag vote. Uh, January 7th. So last year they gave us a little bit of a teaser. Right now we have nothing from EA Sports about what the vote could look like or when the vote could be re-released. They also tweeted this out last year. It was kind of a promo video when they actually dropped uh, the tweets with the vote. So as you can see, right, this was tweeted two hours before content on the 6th last year, and this was tweeted uh, at the same time one day later. So we will be looking out for today, the next couple of days, some sort of an announcement on Team of the Year because there's a lot of people that are saying it's coming very soon, whether it starts today on Thursday, whether it's tomorrow, or whether it's sometime on this weekend, a lot of our most valuable leakers have been saying that team of the year vote will start very soon. That to me, it's probably in the next two or three days because that's how they did it last year. And this being very soon uh, sounds pretty much in the time frame of where EA would normally like to do things. Now, is this really going to impact the game a lot? Probably not too much. It just starts to get people thinking about team of the year. That's about it. As you can see, they'll probably add some sort of graphic. And one thing I want to mention as well is that, yes, Team of the Year voting might be coming out very soon, but it's probably not going to be Team of the Year. Like, of course, we have Headliners Team 2 this Friday. Um, we have got a, probably a whole week of those cards in packs before we get to the start of Team of the Year. Last year, Team of the Year voting ran for like 11 days, January 7th to January 18th. That's got a lot of people thinking that it's going to be around that same time of, of time frame this year. And a lot of people are saying that the Team of the Year might not actually start until January 21st of this year. So if we do see anything related to Team of the Year inside of FIFA or tweeted out by EA Sports today or tomorrow... I don't really think it's going to impact the market that much, even though people are starting to think about it. You're starting to see people talk about who could be in predictions, stuff like that. A lot of people are like, yo, how can Salah be in headliners team two if he's going to be in team of the year? I don't think there's any, I don't think you can read into that at all because there was people that were in headliners last year, like Bruno Fernandez, that were in team of the year. So I don't think you can kind of look at that. I don't think the market's really going to crash just because this year with, we saw it with Black Friday as well. With the announcement of Black Friday, people didn't even still like, there wasn't panic selling for Black Friday until it was like, right before like the weekend before a couple days before is when you started to see panic selling and expect uh, i would expect about the same thing unlike previous years where people would start selling for big promos like black friday or team of the year like on the like two weeks before three weeks before or on the initial announcement i don't think that a team of the year voting announcement would really cause any market crashing today on this game or even tomorrow when it is released but i do think one thing that could cause some more of that are preview packs. Now, that's kind of all the information on Team of the Year. Just a little bit of an intro because, yes, 
it is about time to start thinking team of the year, whether you're starting to save packs, whether you're starting to say, hey, in the next couple of days, I want to get some cards out of my club and sell them because yes, team of the year, there is going to be a bit of a market crash. People are going to sell off some cards a bit more heading into that massive promo. I'm sure it's going to be an insane team of the year because team of the year is the, like, the biggest promo of the entire year with what you what, what we always knew before last year, at least, was some of the highest rated cards that we would see on the game. So just to kind of start that conversation and realize, hey, it's about that time on this game. That's why I want to talk about team of the year today. But where I really think we could see some market movement in the next few days with headliners team two, one specific place of that could be preview packs. Now, yesterday they just dropped. This is literally the first preview pack that we have had in about two months. It was two weeks before Black Friday, the last time that we had more than just our normal 7.5K preview pack. Oh, I have mine. Let's go. I kind of forgot about this uh, in the store. So, you know, the one thing I'm very interested in with this preview pack is, yes, they dropped it yesterday. Yes, the market did move a little. Oh, a shadow. All right. I might end up buying that preview pack because the shadow was like, what, 5,000 coins? That's kind of sick. Anyways, uh, this pack yesterday really didn't crash the market on its own. A premium gold pay players pack or a 25K pack, yes, they gave us 15 of those. But, I mean, the pack weight from this, as you can see, really isn't that insane. The biggest part of the market yesterday that was impacted by this were Team of the Week cards. Headliners dropped a little bit and some of the higher rated fodder, right? You had some higher rated fodder cards like Harry Kane's gold that is in packs right now. I mean, he was like 30, I think he was like 30 eight or 37,000 coins yesterday. And I believe now he's like 35 or something like that. So some of these higher rated fodder cards went down a little bit because if you think about it, right, people opening the preview packs, the stuff that is above 25,000 coins, that's going to be the cards that people would buy. It has to be above the pack value for them to buy the pack, right? So if somebody packed, you know, a, um, in an 84 or an 85 rate of card, you know, they're probably not going to buy that pack with coins unless they have FIFA points, of course. Um, they're probably not going to buy that pack with coins because uh, they're not going to make any profit from it. So I think what you're really going to see and, and what this really starts is last time they dropped preview packs, they didn't just drop like one like they did yesterday and then done. I think there's going to be more preview packs coming. Now, I don't know what packs it's going to be. I don't know what days they're going to drop it. I wouldn't think they would drop it on a promo Friday, although, you know, they've done that in the past in FIFA 21. Could they do that again this weekend? We're going to have to see. And we're going to have to see if they drop one today on Thursday as well, because this 25K preview pack goes out of packs. It's gone today on Thursday. So we'll have to see if they drop another one. That could influence the market specifically, and especially if... They drop a um, bigger pack. If they drop a 50K pack, if they were to drop, there's 100K, 125K packs that are in the code for preview packs. So that's going to be one of the biggest points of the market today that we're going to have to keep an eye out for and keep a watch on is if EA Sports drop more of those preview packs on this game. So that's, that's adding to the already sort of confusing market that we have at the moment on this game. Now, speaking of how the market was a bit confusing yesterday, the brand new informs uh, from Team of the Week 16. These cards, since there were preview packs dropped right at the 6 p.m. time frame, this is the second time we've seen this this year. These cards are already dirt cheap, right? This kind of reminds me of Team of the Week 4. And we talked about this on the Twitch live stream yesterday. Um, we, we talked about how Team of the Week 4, if you guys remember, this is probably going to bring like some PTSD investing memories for some of you guys because Milinkovic, Savage, Romero, Rafinha, uh, Mane, Depay, Teo Hernandez, right? These were all cards that were a part of Team of the Week 4 that a lot of people invested in because it was a really solid Team of the Week, but they were so supplied that they never rose and they only kept dropping and it was just like this year's dead Team of the Week that everybody remembers as a big investment failure was team of the week four. I think th that this team of the week 16 could be the same situation because we have still one big piece of supply coming to this game. Um, we've already had preview packs, 25Ks. If we have more of those and the compensation packs, EA is still giving back packs sometime later on this end of this week. We still don't know an exact date for that. Could be today, could be tomorrow, could be Saturday or Sunday, any of the next few to three to four days or any one to four days, to be honest, I just think these cards are doomed, to be honest. Like, I know Conte started off really low today. Angel Correa, which is almost, 
it's a very similar card to like look at the difference here between his ice or his versus fire and his uh inform these guys are 111,000 coins apart there's one there's one stat difference everywhere except for shooting there's plus three shooting difference that's crazy right these informs are already so they're cheap Conte was started out really low he was like 780k i bought one there and i sold it at 870 for a nice flip um but most of the other informs haven't risen right i think that foden was 37k now he's 40k um, Correa had went from like 25 to 30. Now he's back to 25. So that was where the preview packs impacted the market the most yesterday. And these cards are honestly just going to get more supplied throughout the weekend. So I would just be very careful with these. This team of the week is going to be very supplied, very cheap. And, you know, even this Conte card is probably being the most valuable item out of the team of the week, even Foden. I'd be very careful with these going forward um, because they're going to be so heavily supplied on this market. Other content that we had yesterday on FIFA was an absolute W of an SBC, Ben Rama. Now, I know some of you guys might look at this and you're like, man, this card doesn't look that great. Yes, uh, the stats are solid, but for like a cheap Prem team or just 45,000 coins, like that is dirt cheap for this Ben Rama card. I would have to imagine that, yeah, he might be around the same price if he was actually on the market. But this is a live Ben Rama card. He links to Atal, links to Mares. I think a lot of people are doing this SBC A because it's dirt cheap. B because this caters towards the casuals on this game of FIFA that maybe don't have that many coins. 45k, they can easily go and do that. And this is a really solid center attacking mid in the Prem that has upgrade potential, right? Don't miss out on some of these SBCs for live cards like this because you never know when Ben Rama will pick up two informs. All of a sudden, he's an 88 card. And let's say West Ham can win four games and boom, he's 89 rated in like five, six weeks, maybe a month and a half. And this card's got like 91 pace, 95 dribbling, high 80s shooting, and he's, he's looking cracked, right? Four star, four star. He's got good traits. So this one for me is just... Do a couple upgrade packs. Maybe you get your rewards today and put your duplicates that you get maybe over the next couple of days into the two squads for this and get it done. This is a huge W, right? I, I know it's not going to make it into everybody's starting 11, but that's just a great value SBC. For a card like that that is live, usually those types of SBCs are overpriced. So big fan of that one for just the whole entire game, whether it's going to fit in your team, whether it's not. I just think that that is a W of an SBC right there. Now, let's talk about headliners because moving into today on FIFA, today's a Thursday, right? Rewards this morning. We've had these cards. They didn't drop that much, but some of them have dropped a little bit, right? Mbappe is actually down 100K. Uh, Diaz is down a little bit. Van Dyke is down about 20,000 coins. A lot of these cards just dropped like, you know, maybe 5%, maybe 5% or a little bit less for some of these headliners. Now, I know in yesterday's video, I talked about possibly investing in some of these. This is a really tricky situation to read at the moment because I feel like people are scared on one side to buy these headliner cards um, because they're worried about the compensation packs coming back before Friday when these cards would leave packs. That's 100% a rational fear and a rational uh, thing to think through because if these, if the compensation packs come back, these cards are going to get slammed and they're going to drop a bunch in price from A, being packed, and B, people that have been investing in them are going to panic sell them during that window as well when they see the prices drop. So that's one thing that I don't like about these headliner cards. Um, but one thing I do like is is that since people are kind of scared to invest, if there's actual demand for people to play with these cards in their team, if people want to buy these, and I think there's a few of these items that people really do want to add to their FIFA Ultimate Team squads, uh, just because they are live, they have good stats, and they're pretty cheap. If you look across most of the team, a lot of these guys are decently affordable in price, and people have enjoyed using them so far. A lot of them, if you look on Footbin, you look at their number of games played, a lot of these guys are being used. Uh, in FIFA. So I think there's potential for a rise. And especially since these are live cards, people like to invest in live cards anyway. So I'm really stuck in between a rock and a hard place here where it depends on what content comes out today on Thursday. Now, one thing I will say is a bit of a memory from last year is last year we were looking at investing in headliners too. And they rose out of packs very nicely even with the team of the year voting, like shown in game, team one cards from headliners rose very nicely on the weekend, uh, right after they went out of packs and into the next week. 
um, because of that live nature. So, you know, I think that these cards, there's going to be two opportunities for them to get low today. They might have a slight rise after rewards or they might really not rise at rewards, stay stagnant, drop a little bit with marquee matchups and then go up later, especially if today on Thursday is kind of a non-tent day. If there's not a lot going on in FIFA, you might have people that want to try these cards out, actually go out on the market and purchase some of them after marquee matchups. So there's kind of like two buy windows for today. So honestly, what I would do is wait and see. I mean, some of these cards are down, right? Koulibaly, I think 195 is an undercut, but he was uh, he was like 210K yesterday, right? Yeah, 208,000 coins at his peak, down into to the 195 range right now. Some people also might be holding their packs for a team to have headliners. So it just, I just don't know how many people want to buy these today. So if you want to play the safe route, again, if you think that more preview packs might be coming today, if you think that compensation might be coming um, before these go out of packs and you want to wait, this is, this is an interesting play, right? And obviously when we see it in hindsight, it's going to be easy to read and we're like, man, well, we should have bought at this time, but right now it's really an unknown. So it's a little bit of a gamble with these cards, but if you want to take the risk and take the gamble, uh, I think today is going to be your day. I really think today would be the day to buy them um, or, you know, whether it's right before rewards, during rewards, or during the marquee matchups time frame. Uh, the ones that I would probably focus on would be like Reese James, Van Dyke, um, Luis Diaz, actually a lot of people are looking at this card. And I think a lot of people might be interested in investing in Luis Diaz because there's potential transfer rumors. Um, and this guy has just been on fire IRL. So again, all it takes is one in for him and boom, this card goes up in price and people want to invest in these cards. 50K for Luis Diaz. Yeah, see, people are already ready to, to snipe small undercuts on these because they think these cards could rise. Um, you know, that's the kind of thing that people like in an investment. So we're going to keep an eye on a few of these cards. Uh, Nabry could be a good one. Savernier actually got hit pretty hard yesterday by the preview packs. Um, Savernier was like 100,000 coins and now he is like 80K. Pretty sure. Okay, that was a Flippin undercut. Flippin shows 81,000 coins. He's actually not quite 80K. He's kind of sitting in like 89,000 coins, 88K, but that's even down like 11, 12K from where he was. So yeah, I, I think the preview packs hurt these cards a little bit yesterday. But I'm really curious to see if there's more of those preview packs today on this game, if there's marquee matchups, and if people are scared to invest. I'm really curious to see how those do. So again, if you don't want to mess with it and you don't want to have the risk, then absolutely uh, then stay away, right? You don't have to buy headliner cards, indeed, especially if you're starting to think about team of the year or you've got other squad plans to think about. You definitely don't have to invest in some of those headliners Absolutely. So looking forward through rewards today and into the content today, uh, today on Thursday. Marquee matchup seems to be the obvious content piece that would be coming. Other than that, really not sure what would be dropping today. I don't. I really don't see any leaks, which is fine. It's great actually to not have any sort of leak or preview about what content could be coming. But it sounds like if it's just marquee matchups, it could be a bit of a quieter day, which would potentially bode well for some trading and some flipping, chemistry style trading on the new team of the week cards, on these headliners. Um, and, you know, there might be a little bit of a rise on some cards that are out of packs um, that people will be putting into their teams. If you're trying to make some buys today at rewards, I would just try to think about what has been popular lately, right? Uh, popular lately has been definitely Premier League and definitely French. Also, League One, right? Because you've had a lot of people that are using Ganduzi, a lot of people using uh, maybe the new Edouard, the new Ben Rama. We've had a lot of Premier League just cards released on the game lately through SBCs. Um, and, you know, you've had the Felipe Anderson objective. So maybe your Malinkovic Savage and maybe some of your other uh, Italian cards would rise back up a little bit today. Uh, but I would kind of focus on just out of pack stuff for sure. If there's any cards that you're seeing around the rewards time frame that are maybe a little bit low, that are, you know, usual out of packs cards that people like to buy, I kind of think of like this Fred UCL Road to the Knockout Stage card, right? Like usually he's like 250, probably gonna maybe hit 260 today on rewards day. If I could snag one of these at like, I don't know, two, 240 or under, Flippin has him right now at, uh, 241 is his lowest price. You know, I'd kind of look at that. Another card that I see right now that's a little bit low, and if I snag one undercut, I'm going to be interested in is this Luka Modric. 
Uh, see, Footpin's lying to me, man. So Footpin has this guy at 835. And if I could snag this close to 800K flat, I would love that because this dude is mega rare and mega hyped. So that's kind of one of the things I'd be looking for on the market today on this game if you're trying to make any quick flips or any profit today on a Thursday. But oftentimes what you see on Thursdays are people go out and they buy some cards for their teams to get qualified and get ready for the weekend league. So if you can focus on some of those items that I think you'll be able to make some profit today on this game. So it's going to be an interesting Thursday, right? We have that team of the year voting kind of in the cycle starting to be talked about, starting to be thought about. Hopefully that comes pretty soon. Hopefully we see some tweets or some information from EA about that even as soon as today would be great. But I think this weekend, you're really going to start to see something like that. Watch out for preview packs today, especially if they drop another one, um, because that would be more movements for the market. And especially it would open up a window for maybe some in headliner investments. Um, if they dropped a bigger, like a 50K or a 100K preview pack would really, really make some interesting movements on the market uh, on some cards today. It would really, I would think that would hurt the market a lot more than we actually would think. So I just think there's gonna be another set of preview packs soon, whether it's today, whether it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, sometime in the next week, I think they're gonna do another set of previews. So just keep a watch out for that. And of course, good luck qualifying for Weekend League if you guys are out there grinding. I'm getting the reward upgrade this week. For whatever reason, at the beginning of the week, I felt motivated to play some games. So I'm getting Division Four. definitely taking the option two which I think is gonna give me a 50K pack and a prime gold players pack untradeable with little 18,000 coins, which I don't mind. So I'm gonna take that, hopefully pack something dope with it today, but good luck on your rewards, good luck qualifying, and hopefully it's a fun Thursday on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.